Hello there. Well, there you have it. The Welsh Labour Party giving jobs and money to communist China. Now, before I start, I do have to ask, what's all this stuff I keep hearing about buckles? Is there a new fashion frenzy for belt and shoe accessories going on that I've somehow missed? Oh, well, it's probably not important anyway. The Welsh Labour Party running Cardiff Council has decided that the best way to increase the prosperity of the UK is to use taxpayers' money to create jobs in China. The Welsh Labour-run Cardiff Council has placed an order for the new buses with a Chinese company and the buses will be made over there. According to Electriv.com, Cardiff Bus has ordered 36 electric buses from the Chinese manufacturer Yutong. The 36 Yutong E12 buses will be in service in the Welsh capital from the end of this year. And it goes on to say that Yutong will manufacture the buses for Cardiff at its plant in China. And this comes very shortly after the Labour-controlled Newport City Council ordered buses from Yutong as well. This is despite UK bus companies like Dennis, Arrival, Optair and Wrightbus having a hard time during 2020 due to the pandemic with Route1.net saying that the four largest UK coach and bus manufacturers had to suspend production last year. Welsh Labour, it seems, is the newest arm of the Chinese Communist Party. And it fits in with rumours that Keir Starmer is on his way out as the Labour Party leader and could possibly be replaced by a hard left-winger like Zara Sultana as the new left develops in the party. This all adds to the growing realisation that the Labour Party has nothing in common nor any interest in the ordinary UK worker, or Welsh worker come to that. The newest version of the Labour Party is spawned from elite, middle-class, left-wing university talking shops. And that makes them unelectable. So what's your opinion on this new, new Labour Party? Please like and comment below.